Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Moon Wallet, which is a simple and powerful self custodial wallet for Bitcoin and Lightning. And what I like about it, or what's cool about Moon Wallet compared to a lot of other Bitcoin and Lightning wallets, is that it does both right here in one wallet. You'll see one amount in your wallet, and you can do either a Bitcoin main chain transaction or a lightning transaction all from like the same area. So it's very handy and easy to use. And let's just go ahead and get into it right now. And it is of course a mobile app. So you can put it on iPhone or Android and I'll link to the website down below if, if you need it. Uh, but here we go. We're inside of the moon wallet and we're gonna say that we don't have a wallet, but obviously if you have a wallet, you could go ahead and restore your wallet. Um, and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory there. So we'll do, create a new wallet and then we'll go ahead and create a pin and just like that I've created a new wallet welcome to moon let's go and before you go in here and start sending yourself some Bitcoin what you probably want to do is go ahead and back up your wallet because right now it's just kind of connected to my phone somehow and I don't even know how you would restore it unless you back up your wallet so we're gonna go straight into backing up our wallet so we can just tap right there and we have back up your wallet, so create a recovery method in case you change your phone or reinstall Moon. So there you go. If you lost your phone or need to reinstall Moon, you would lose your wallet unless you back it up here. So let's go ahead and back it up. And then we can go ahead and back up with our email address. Or if you don't want to use your email address, you can do I don't want to use my email, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and use my email address. So I'll click start here. And then I'll go ahead and enter my recovery email and confirm email. And then they went ahead and sent me an email, so I need to go tap the link in the email. And now I need to go ahead and create a password for my Moon Wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and create a password right here. And then I also have to confirm my password, so you just type it again. And it gives us two things we must understand. I understand I need my password and access to my email to recover my wallet. And I understand that Moon can't reset my password if I forget it. So important thing right there, there's no forgot password option with Moon Wallet. Now there is another way you can restore it without your password, which we'll get into in a second here. But since it's self custody, it's upon you to keep custody of your own Bitcoin. Okay, so it's important that you keep track of this stuff because there's no, no support really to help you out if you lose your password or lose access to your wallet somehow. So you really need to follow these steps closely. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I understand and then we'll go ahead and finish. And just like that, my wallet is backed up and now I can recover it using my email and password. So I'll go ahead and tap on excellent then. Now we have another option for an alternate backup where they give us a code or like a seed phrase basically where we can go ahead and restore our wallet that way. So if we do forget our password for some reason, but we still have this code, we can go ahead and restore our moon wallet using that code. Additionally, it's going to be used in this emergency kit down here on step three, which we'll get to in just a second. But right now we're going to go ahead and tap on step two. And of course, I do recommend you go ahead and you do this step as well and create an alternative backup and we'll hit start. And it gives us eight units of four letters and numbers. So you want to go ahead and write these down on a piece of paper. And I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'll tap continue. And then I need to go ahead and enter the recovery code that I just wrote down. So I'll do that real quick. And now we have two more things we must understand. So I understand I'll need my recovery code to recover my wallet. I understand Moon doesn't keep a copy of my recovery code and it can't be changed. So we'll go ahead and agree to those. And then I'll go down here and I'll tap on finish. And success, you can now recover your wallet using your email and recovery code. So we'll go on to excellent now. And now I can go ahead and create an emergency kit. So this lets us download the data you need to recover your money without using Moon. So let's say that, you know, Moon goes out of business or the app stops working or Apple deletes it or Android deletes it or, you know, the app just vanishes for whatever reason. Uh, well, how do you get your cryptocurrency? Because you're not using your typical seed phrase where you could go ahead and type your seed phrase into another wallet and, you know, restore access to your Bitcoin that way. You're using Moon's recovery code and stuff like that. So it's a little different and you can't just go plug Moon's recovery code into another Bitcoin wallet to restore your Moon wallet. Like, your recovery code only works on Moon Wallet. So if Moon goes out of business or something like that, you'd wanna use this emergency kit to get access to your Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and tap on create emergency kit. And basically it's gonna generate a PDF document with instructions on how we can go ahead and transfer our funds should Moon stop working. So we can come over here and create our emergency kit. 
We can save it to our drive, save it to iCloud, or suggest another cloud. And so basically you'll just save this PDF document. And if something happens to Moon, you would go to this document in order to recover your funds. Now you would need your recovery phrase as well. So make sure you hang on to your recovery phrase and this PDF document, just in case something bad happens to Moon. Now Moon is a highly respected wallet, and I think it's pretty unlikely for something to happen, but it's comforting to know that you can get your Bitcoin back out should something bad happen to Moon. And so go ahead and save that PDF somewhere and we'll come back out here to the main wallet. And before we get into receiving and sending some Bitcoin, let's go down here to settings real quick. So tap into settings and there's a few settings, not too much, but anyway, we can go ahead and change our Bitcoin unit. So if we tap in there, we could change it to Bitcoin or sats. We'll put it on sats because when I do my transfers, I'm gonna be using little amounts of Bitcoin. We can go ahead and change the main currency. So if you live somewhere else, you could go ahead and of course set it wherever you know is relevant. We can go ahead and change our password. Remember, Moon doesn't keep a copy of the password anywhere. So, you know, this is up to you. Uh, we have some advanced settings. So we have Bitcoin network. I can tap on that and we could default to Taproot, but it gives us a little warning here that many services are not yet compatible with Taproot. So use this with caution, of course. If you don't know what you're doing, probably best to leave it off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off. And then we also have an option for Lightning Network down here. So I'll tap on it real quick. And we have an option for Turbo Channels. And we can learn more about the trade-offs of Turbo Channels. I'm just gonna leave it the default setting as on, as it does provide a little bit faster transactions on the Lightning Network. So we'll leave that there and we'll back out here. And of course you could go ahead and log out. So if you have another Moon Wallet you wanna log into, you could go ahead and you know log out here and log into another Moon Wallet if you wanna do that. And we're just gonna go back to Wallet here. So tap on a Wallet. And now we gotta go ahead and get some Bitcoin in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on receive. And we see at the top here, we have an option for Bitcoin. So we can receive main chain Bitcoin by sending to this QR code or this address right here. Additionally, we can go ahead and receive with Lightning. So if I tap on Lightning up here, we have an invoice QR code. I could go ahead and scan and or I could go ahead and tap on invoice settings and create an, an amount that I want and request an invoice that way. We're gonna do both methods. First method, we're gonna go ahead and do main chain Bitcoin. So I could scan this QR code or we can go ahead and copy the address. So if we tap on copy here, and additionally, there are some address settings. So I could tap here and I could request an amount and address type if I want to. So if I want to change any of those settings, I could, but we're just going to hide those settings and I've already copied it. So I'm going to go to my node real quick where I have some Bitcoin, Bitcoin standing by. I'm going to go ahead and withdraw some Bitcoin. And so I'm going to send 50,000 sats to my moon wallet here and I've set my fee. I'm going to go ahead and re review the withdrawal and then confirm it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop back over to Moon Wallet. And we'll make this big. And I'll come back out of here. And I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it real quick. And we see right there, it noticed the 50,000 sats that are coming in. I have a little clock right here, so you know that it is pending. And if I tap this orange arrow down at the bottom, we can go ahead and see our transaction that it's confirming from the Bitcoin network. I can go ahead and tap on it for a little bit more details and I could look at the transaction ID and all that type of stuff. So we can see that my 50,000 sats are in route to my moon wallet, so that is awesome. So we're gonna wait for that to happen. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and receive some Bitcoin through the Lightning Network, which of course is gonna be faster than the main chain. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on receive and then I'm gonna tap on Lightning at the top here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap on invoice settings down here at the bottom. And I wanna go ahead and add an amount and I wanna go ahead and receive, we'll just do 10,000 sets, so almost $4. And I'll go ahead and confirm the amount. And it's gonna go ahead and generate an invoice here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this invoice real quick by tapping on copy. And I'm gonna to go to a, one of my Lightning wallets. So here I am in Strike, and I wanna go ahead and pay. So I'll do pay. And then I have this little QR code right there. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. And then I'll go ahead and paste my lightning invoice and we see that it pops up to three dollars and ninety cents i'll go ahead and confirm it and i'll go ahead and pop back over to moon and we see down here at the bottom ten thousand sats received so if i back out to my wallet we see now that i have sixty thousand sats in there i can go ahead and tap on this little orange arrow 
And we can see that my main chain transaction is still confirming, whereas my lightning transaction I've received and I could go ahead and spend this lightning transaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the little X and come back out of transactions. So that's how you can receive through Bitcoin main chain as well as through the lightning network. Now let's go ahead and talk about sending. So we'll tap into send. And now it lets us scan a Bitcoin or Lightning QR code. So it can tell the difference between a Bitcoin main chain transaction and a Lightning QR code. So you just scan the QR code. Or down here, we have the option to enter a text address. So if you have a text address you wanna go ahead and send to, you could go ahead and copy and paste it right here by tapping that option. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a Lightning transaction first. Since I am waiting for that Bitcoin main chain transaction to arrive in my wallet, so let's go ahead and get a Lightning invoice and pay it real quick. And so here I am on one of my favorite websites, lightningroulette.com, and I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the menu here. And I wanna go ahead and deposit. I'm just gonna do 1,000 sats, which I think is like 39 cents at this point in time. And I'll go ahead and tap on deposit. And it gives me a QR code right here. So I can go ahead and grab my Moon Wallet and scan that QR code. Again, it'll know that it is a Lightning Wallet code. And we see right there, it's going to a Lightning Roulette, 1,000 sats, and all the, the amounts and network fees and all that type of stuff. And now I can go ahead and tap on Send. And then Lightning Roulette just found my transaction. Again, Lightning Fast, because Lightning Network, woo! All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and of course gamble. I'm gonna put a thousand sats on black and we're gonna spin this thing and hopefully I double my money. So let's see, bam, six black, awesome. So now I have 2,004 sats. I'm gonna go ahead and actually withdraw from here now that I'm like 39 cents richer. So I'll tap into this. And I wanna go ahead and withdraw. So it's actually asking me for a lightning invoice. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate that in Moon Wallet. So we'll open up Moon Wallet again and I'll make it full screen real quick. And I wanna go ahead and receive and lightning and then invoice settings down here. And I wanna go ahead and add an amount. I wanna do 2000 sets cause that's what I have there. I wanna go ahead and confirm that amount. I'll go ahead and generate my lightning invoice. I'll go ahead and copy it and go back to lightning roulette and enter my invoice. So I'll go ahead and paste my invoice right there. Hit on, hit withdraw. And it looks like lightning roulette now charges a 50 sat fee. So that's new. But anyway, I have to go ahead and create a new invoice now that accounts for that 50 sat fee. So we got our thing. We'll go ahead and receive again and tap on lightning up here and then go down to invoice settings. And then we want to go ahead and change the amount. And we got 1950 and confirm amount, generates the invoice. I'll go ahead and copy it real quick and then I'll bring it over to Lightning Roulette. So I have my new invoice that accounts for the 50 sat fee. I'll paste it in there, hit withdraw. And we got a check mark up here. So I'm gonna come back to my wallet and we see right there 1950 sat received. So I already got it back in my wallet and it actually, I don't have that little clock here anymore. So maybe my main chain Bitcoin has arrived. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that little gray arrow now. And we can see now that it's showing that it's confirmed. So hopefully I can do a main chain transaction right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the X right here. And we're gonna go ahead and tap on send right here. And again, it pops up our camera and we, and we can go ahead and scan a Bitcoin or lightning QR code. So I need to go ahead and generate a Bitcoin QR code real quick, or I could go ahead and paste the address in here, but I have my node up here and I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna go ahead and deposit. And there's my QR code right there. So let me load this thing back up and we can scan it real quick. And I can go ahead and select how much I wanna go ahead and send and I'm actually gonna return all my funds back to me. So I'm gonna do it. go ahead and tap on use all funds right there. So use all funds and let's make this full screen. And then I have to go ahead and write a note. So I'm just gonna say return. And then I'm gonna go ahead and confirm note. And then we have the option for network fee here. We got this little pen and paper looking thing. We'll tap on it and we can go ahead and select how much we wanna pay. 
uh, for this transaction. I have another video on how to use mempool.space to figure out the optimal fees. So if you wanna learn more about fees, I recommend that video, link in the description down below. Alternatively, you can just go based off of what Moon Wallet recommends. They do a great job of recommending you know, the optimal fee in order to get it accomplished in whatever time, so 30 minutes, one hour, 19 hours, or you can go ahead and enter the fee manually. So if you wanna you know, put 100 V-byte in there, you could go ahead and do that, and that costs $12.76, so that's probably not not worth it considering I'm spending $20 or sending $20. So we'll back out of here and I'm in no rush really. So I'm just gonna say less than one hour here. So I'll tap on that option and then I'll go ahead and confirm the fee and we can see our transaction details and then tap on send there and poof, just like that, it is out of my moon wallet and it should be headed back to my node over here. And there's my incoming deposit, so awesome. It seems to be working. And that's pretty much it for this video. We talked about how to send and receive Bitcoin on the main chain, as well as the Lightning Network using Moon Wallet. So highly recommend it. It's very easy to use as you've seen in the video. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. And sort of likes, comments, subscribes, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.